friends welcome back to our channel high point a best place where you can find contents related to english language and literature especially for nta ugc net jrf english language and literature so what's up guys i hope all of you are safe and you are doing great towards your goals about nta ugc net jrf so like you can see today's video topic is roman jacobson and he belongs to which literary theory actually he belongs to russian formalism so while we were discussing about russian formalism we have seen many major thinkers related to it and we have already have seen viktor shklovsky and his major concepts and works so in similar fashion in a similar way we will see about roman jacobson his major contributions to russian formalism the major key terms that he introduced as well as his major text and if you are looking for some serious material some systematically arranged online courses for your ugc net jrf which are suitable for your own schedules and uh, preferences you know online courses have their own uh, you know their own benefits like it will be suitable to you, it will be suitable to your own schedules you can start learning the topics that you want to start so in that way it has many benefits so if you are looking at such online courses for your ugc net jrf then we have a fantastic course for you offering in our website known as www.highpoint.in you can go into it and you can have the free trial and see what we have provided there and uh, yeah we have simplified the entire nta syllabus for you under uh, 10 topics you can find the entire syllabus and in which you will be be having 900 plus audio lectures and 300 plus downloadable materials along with the whole set of previous question papers along as well as practice a set of question papers which are attemptable lively attemptable in the website and you can know your marks and have the experience of an examination and know your progress instantly so if you are interested in joining us and be a part of family as a student you can have 15 percentage of off for the fee structure now going on as an offer in the website and you can grab this offer now and if you want to know more about anything related to the course you can call me or whatsapp me in this given number here we will be glad to provide more details see once you join for either of the courses you will get all these things and along with the two offers two more offers for which we are not charging anything more what are they weekly text in every saturdays like we will be having a pre announced set of topics for every saturday examination every saturday text and we will share the link to you to have the text Uh, and you can know the marks you can have the key answer keys then once you submit for the submit the examination and you can know um, new things and you can be consistent through your studies through this weekly test and we'll be analyzing your marks and we'll come back to you if you are not attempting it and if you are not progressing and also along with that once you have joined sooner you will get a personal study guideline according to your own schedules and your own taste not according to our own preferences okay it's not that we will be giving you know pre prepared set of rules set of suggestions for you to study but we will be having a survey with you uh, we will be providing you a questionnaire that according to the answers and responses that you, that you have given for the uh, questionnaire we will be preparing a customized study guideline for you that you can uh, have it if you want to be consistent in your studies or you can go on with your own plans okay so there is no compulsion but we will be providing personal study guideline as an offer many of the students they don't know how to be consistent when you see such enormous amount of contents what you will feel you will feel perplexed you don't know where to start you will think of starting from here then you will stop there and you will go for another topic don't do that so we will have a set of rules set of suggestions actually and set of uh, you know things that will keep you in track with your studies okay if you are interested in having these things please come uh, please come and join we are most welcome and if you are want to know anything more anything else more you can whatsapp me or call me or in my instagram id too you can message me or dm me i'll be glad to message you back as soon as possible so in my instagram id we are providing lot of free materials related to nta ugc net jrf english literature even if you are not a net aspirants you are just a ba student or you are just an ma student so if you are an ma student you 
are in that aspirant okay so you can have all these things all these study materials in the form of study cards in the form of reels in the form of short videos carousels in my story i'm sharing a lot of things in everyday basis so we are planning more using the full facilities available in instagram so don't miss the chance of having these free materials if you are studying on your own or if you are following any other platforms or any other online online courses uh, for your net of goals so you are most welcome and also we are also maintaining a whatsapp group in which we are sharing daily quiz question and answers and also you can uh, have news and updates related to NTA UGC net there in that whatsapp group and along with some study materials if you want to join if you want to be a part of this whatsapp group you can go to the description box and click the link and join or if not directly message me I'll share the link you and your friends those who are interested can join them freely okay let's move on so this is the person Roman Jacobson. Roman Jacobson, please remember him as a Russian American linguist and literary theorist of Russian formalism. He is popular in Russian formalism and he developed a revolutionary new techniques for the analysis of linguistic sound system. Okay, so he developed some revolutionary new techniques for the analysis of linguistic sound system and he was no more into linguists. So he was a linguist and he was more into uh, the linguistic aspects of language sound system and all phonetics and all jacobson escaped from prague in early march 1939 see during the time of russian formalism let me we have already seen this in uh, while we were discussing about russian formalism as a theory like you know the the scenario the political scenario of russia was not suitable so the major thinkers of russian formalism had to escape or exile from russia and they have to go to uh, prague or they have to go to various other part of the uh, part of the continent or various other uh, places as well so jacobson escaped from prague in early march 1939 via berlin for denmark where he was associated with the copenhagen linguistic circle so when um, he came came to denmark and he uh, associated himself with the copenhagen linguistic circle and uh, such intellectuals such as uh, Louis Helm slave so Copenhagen linguistic circle he got associated with it and uh, he also associated with the intellectuals which are there in that circle such as Louis Helm slave okay moving on let's see which are the major works by Roman Jacobson see this video is not going to be so lengthy you can post the video and take down the notes okay he has written enormous amount of works but I have mentioned only five important one chronologically so that you to know uh, you know uh, when a question is asked to arrange some text in chronological manner I don't want you to miss the a chance of having the correct answer so on linguistic aspects of translation which is an essay came up came out in 1959 then two aspects of language and two aphasic disturbance so this is again an essay then functions of language these two are the most important works by Roman Jacobson two aspects of language and two aphasic disturbance disturbance in the sense interruptions or you know um, in the sense in order to bring about literariness the ordinary language will get disturbed or uh, interrupted in order to bring about literariness okay functions of language and next one is six lectures of sound and meaning came out in 1978 the framework of language was printed in 1980 so these are the major works i'm not going to explain the content of these major works which are unnecessary but we will certainly look at the major concepts put forwarded by roman jacobson so here comes the major concepts by roman jacobson and his major contributions into what into uh, Russian formalism so the first concept by Roman Jacobson is selection and combination so these are the two ways of language operation see the way in which we are using language we are doing selection and combination so these are the two ways in which language operates okay according to Jacobson what is selection selection is use of various words and expressions and selection is useful in creating defamiliarization effect so selection is that see while we are talking or we are writing something we select a certain kind of words 
so that is selection so we are used not only we are selecting words but we are selecting expressions through that selection of words so that is selection that is the first operation in a language and this selection is useful it is useful as far as literature is concerned in order to create the effect of defamiliarization so what is defamiliarization we have seen uh, it uh, in while discussing russian formalism or we have seen it in while discussing victor sklosky so because defamiliarization was uh, a key concept to put forwarded by Victor Shlosky. So you can refer either of these two videos. I have given the link in the i button. You can go for it and click it and uh, see it. I'm not going to, you know, uh, explain about defamiliarization again. So defamiliarization is simply making things strange. So that is what all that is what literariness is all about. That is what brings the literariness in a literature, uh, literary piece of work. Okay. So selection of various words and expressions are important are useful in creating defamiliarization effect so the next operation linguistic operation is combination it's a syntax so combination means combination of these words and expression it is mainly the syntax or the order of the sentence also known as syndagm or syndagm that that is a string of words to get complex structure and meaning so basically combination is simply the syntax or the word order of a sentence it is also known as syntagm that is a string of words a combination of words that we are using in a particular way in order to get a complex structure of meanings or complex structure or complex meaning by selection and combination we make our own language see everybody has their own idiosyncratic language and every other writer has their own kind of uh, way of writing in every other work we have a certain kind of language used a combination and selection are different in every other work or every other text so that's what make that that's what the work gets a uniqueness that's what make our own language okay now the next concept by Jacobson is metaphor and metonymy. Language oscillates between metaphor and metonymy as it has a bipolar structure. So language has a bipolar structure in the sense that it has combinations. It is it it works in differences, not in uh, similar, not more or less. It uh, any sign in a language does not have meaning in its own so we have already seen all these things right so language oscillates between metaphor and metonymy these two are the poles of language two extreme bipolar in a bipolar structure of language metaphor and metonymy these are the two poles and selection function leads to metaphor see if you have if you have a particular expression in your mind particular emotion in your mind in order to express that emotion or that particular expression or whatever that concept is you have to select particular words that will lead to metaphor that is the first pole of language what is metaphor you are comparing and you are giving a comparison there right so uh, he is a line in the battlefield that is a metaphor so he is a line so you wanted to express your uh, understanding of his courageousness his bravery in the battlefield so in order to represent that particular concept about him you are selecting a particular word and you are using a metaphor there so that is the first pole of language what is metonymy substituting part for the whole example the crown proclaimed the or an order so that means the crown represent crown just an object it's a part of something but the crown usually wore by whom king or queen right so that means the authority the crown refers to the royal authority right the crown proclaimed an order that means an order came from the king or the queen so here when a part is getting substituted for the whole so the entire royalty is represented by the the royal authority is represented by a word known as the crown so that is a metonymy that is a metonymy and in which the crown represents the entire royalty royal authority royal power so when a part is substituting the whole that type of figure of speech is known as metonymy so metonymy is the 
another the extreme other pole of the language in poetry metaphor is used while in prose metonymy is used according to uh, jacobson in in poetry mainly we are using metaphor while in prose we are using met metonymy these two are not merely the operations in language but of mind so simply because we are not using them uh, as operations of language but they are they are more than that they are operations of our own mind okay so uh, these two are the major tenets put forwarded by roman jacobson selection and combination metaphor and metonymy and there are many other concepts associated to uh, what associated to russian formalism such as literariness Uh, defamiliarization third one is liter uh, figure of speech or, or literary device or we have seen many more things there so refer to uh, that video that particular video about russian formalism in order to know more so we have seen two major thinkers of russian formalism viktor shklovsky and uh, roman jacobson i hope this was clear to you the entire thing related to russian formalism was clear to you because from the next video onwards we'll be having yet another literary theory or criticism so if you have any doubts related to russian formalism you can freely message me and comment me below uh, this video uh, so that others are, can also see them and see there and also don't forget to mention the major takeaway uh, for you from this video because that that means so much to me as it will give an algorithm push for my my videos as well as that will give me a satisfaction that you have listened to my videos carefully so don't forget to visit my website as well as if you want to join the whatsapp group please message me or click the link that is there in the description box and also don't forget to follow me on instagram as i am sharing lot of value added materials for your ugc net jrf english language and literature and lot more are awaiting to come don't waste your time for waiting for the next nta ugc net exam schedule to publish but you can start your studies from today onwards with us with our channel with our website www.highpoint.in and a 15 percentage of off is going on there and also two offers are there for you waiting once you subscribe for the for subscribe for the course first one is a weekly test and also second one is a personalized study guidelines so thanks for watching and if you are yet to subscribe in here my youtube channel subscribe to it if you like the videos that i am presenting here and press the bell icon while you subscribe because i don't want you to miss any of the videos that we are publishing here so that's all about it meet you in the next video session until then keep watching my videos and also keep loving literature and study for your ugc net jrf english language and literature bye bye thank you